Yeah, yeah we have with us uh, director and trustee of Anurag uh, University, Mr. Anurag Palla. What I would like to know is how Anurag University is uh, doing to upskill the students uh, so that uh, when they come out of the college, they have very good uh, employment opportunities. Definitely. So basically, we are a very new institution. We are a two decade old institution, which we have been started in 1998. We became autonomous institution in 2014. Group of institutions in 2011, autonomous institution in 2014, and a full-fledged private university in 2020. And one of the reasons we saw such a huge growth is because our focus was on three things. One, creating an ideal academic environment. Second, upskilling our faculty first, and then looking after the students. Then third, our building the right infrastructure, both physical and intellectual infrastructure. So you ask me how are we different, what we have done from the time we have become a university. Few things we have been focusing on once we became a university was how to inculcate experiential learning in every single course. So the few uh, things that we have taken up, few sh initiatives that we have taken up is so far, we have made an MOU with ITCA. I, right now as we speak, 200 of my students are working to design, develop and launch a satellite within years end time. 200 of my students. So they are going to launch a micro satellite for commemorating the 75 years of our independence by August 15th. But we are going to be a little delayed because um, again, it's student led. They are finding challenges and we are trying to create, go over those roadblocks. We, by the year's end time, we'll be able to launch it. One other thing that we have done is basically we've inked an MOU with Telangana police. Our students will be like working on real life problems faced by the Telangana cyber security cell. So it is a reciprocal relationship where we kind of make sure police executives are taught few courses when they want to upskill and our students get to work on contemporary problems or contemporary challenges faced by the police in a day-to-day -day life. Like there might be sexual harassment through internet and how does someone go on about tracking that person? How does someone go on about building protective systems online so that that doesn't happen again? All of that is very abstract when you teach it. But you, when you work it alongside the police, you know that it's happening in real life right now. And it just makes your mission or passion a lot more interesting then. So things like that, again, we are trying to inculcate service learning into the our academic curriculum. So most of our uh, NSS and NCC volunteers, we have about 1,500 of them in a 8,000 strong institution. We basically partner up with local communities get their problem statements or understand their needs from the from our students, sit down with the students, turn that into problem statements, formulate the problem statements, help divide the students in interdisciplinary teams, one from pharmacy, one from engineering, one from management, engineering again, two, three different branches, mechanical, computer science, electrical. So with this problem statement and with this interdisciplinary team, they have to design a solution and implement that solution alongside the local community we have partnered with, especially uh, keeping in line with uh, Unnat Bharat Abhiyan initiative by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi Garu. So things like that, that is how we are keeping ourselves ahead of the curve and I think we are going to come up with more and more uh, curricular and technological interventions as we go forward, as we learn from such education summits for, conducted by Indigo. Actually, your thoughts about today's conference and how? what are your takeaways? So, one thing that has been amazing today was I got to meet so many different stakeholders of the education ecosystem. We met policy makers, we met institution builders, we went academic uh, leadership. We then went industry leadership. We have these tech companies trying to service higher education institutions. It is really hard to get all of them on one single platform, right? That is what Mr. Sudhir Garu and Indie Global Media Company has been doing amazingly well. So the thing that I've learned the most today is there is no point working in silos. You have to work hand in hand with every single stakeholder of this, whoever got today. And I got to meet really wonderful people, especially like people, chancellors, vice chancellors, uh, Pradeep Garu, who is uh, Commissioner of Collegiate uh, Education, someone as young as Faiz Mohammed, who is uh, director of HKBK group of institutions. So I got to meet so many new souls with so many open-ended conversations with them. And yeah, I think that's how you uh, create change in the education ecosystem, getting everyone together on a single platform. So thank you.